guys, I'm Michelle Wright with the Cow Whispers Creative Cards com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Well, it's Friday. That means it's Tip Friday. And today we're talking about our clean adhesive sheets. And they are on page 162 of the catalog. And you're going to get a total of 168 strips that are 3 quarters inch by 1 and 3 quarters inch for $8. Okay, so this is how they come. They come in a pack like this. And... When you open the pack up, don't worry about, oh, how do I know which side to use? There are step-by-step -step instructions right here on the back of the label. So keep that, because if you're like me, one day you might remember, the next day you might forget. So basically, each one of these, even though it's perforated, it's, it's one piece, all right? And you'll see that here in a minute. So you can, a couple of things. You know, I've always been a huge advocate, and I say, hey, do not throw away your extra clean pieces once you label a stamp set. You can use those pieces. Well, that's exactly what this stuff is. This is the same thing, but let's say you've used all this up, and you want to convert your wood blocks, or you want to convert your clears, and you don't have any more of that. That's why you want these. Now, I told you guys a long time ago that I would never get rid of my Loyal and True set because it's near and dear to my heart. But when I ordered it, I accidentally ordered wood. And I could have returned it, but no, I just dealt with it. Well, I've already converted this one. And I've gotten this one removed from the block. And I'm sure you're going to say, what did you do? Let me say this first. Disclaimer. This is what I did. There are lots of ways out there to do this, okay? I'm not saying my way is the best way. I'm just telling you this is what I did. I took my stamp to the microwave, put it on five seconds. It loosened up the adhesive just enough that I was able to pull the rubber stamp right off the block. And you don't have time to let it cool down. You need to pull it off. And at the same time, I was able, I have this tiny, tiny little spatula that's wide enough to put it under the label because it had softened it as well. And very carefully, I took it off and put it on top. Okay. Now we've got this, which we know isn't going to work. Okay. We just know it. And by the way, you see my, here's one more great use for your silicone craft sheet. When I was taking that off, well, that's super sticky on the back from where that stamp came off, that rubber stamp came off. Well, these are made for things not to stick to, so there you go. And then you can do whatever you want to with your ball. Chunk it, keep it, whatever you want. But one more reason, you need a silicone craft sheet. So, how do we do this now that we're, we're converting this? Well, this is wide, so I know three quarters of an inch will work. I'm just gonna grab my little super sharp tweezers. The side that's got the cut, see this is solid. So you're working on the side that has all the cuts in it. You're just gonna get it started. And yes, does this take a little bit of time? Yes, is it worth it in the long run? Yes, all the things that are worth it in the long run take a little bit of time up front. So just get it started. So you're leaving the adhesive down. And these tweezers just came from Amazon. And there's two. It's cut, but that's a solid piece underneath. So you got two strips. And let's not pull that up like that. So I'm gonna hold that. Got a little, got a little rambunctious. Now you're gonna take the image side straight to this and push it down. Peel it up. Now you've transferred that over, okay? Can you see it? It's transferred over. Now, night and day. So that's how you can convert. And like I said, using the microwave and all that is at your own risk. But let's take a set like Dandelion Wishes, that this was a clear mount set. I never put any of my labels on because I knew it wasn't gonna stay on there. So let's just grab this sentiment here. 
you know my little trick now that is life changing where I tell you to grab your label even though this is not clean still do the same thing put it right down on there because it's going to work for this it's that repetitive repetitive that makes them where they don't stick you may have to hold it down i'm just trying to peel this off is all i'm trying to do and it may not stick on there even that long now you know why we love our clean Ooh, i got it i got it all right I just need it to stick on here long enough. Work with me, baby. It may not. It may not do it. We may have to turn it and let's make sure we do it correctly. That is for sure. But that's okay. I'm just going to line it up. I'm going to grab it. See, what I was trying to do is get this to stick on here. Yeah, that didn't want to cooperate. So we're just going to line it up put it down just like that you could always take a little bit of adhesive and put on there to put on the back and then line it up to stamp it you do whatever works best for you to get your label on here but you can tell yeah that's not 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 such a good thing well this is where the sheets come in i'm going to come back over here on the split side leave your sheet on here leave the sticky on here i'm gonna just kind of bend it up in the middle and you can see it that it's left it behind that's what you want leave it behind can get them all converted and then then you're good to go then no more messing take your stamp with the image down the rubber up stick it on there Give it a good push and peel it away. If anything goes on the outside, just trim it off. Okay, guys, I had an aha moment, so this is a spliced in section. You know how I was fighting with that label? Mm. Here's here, if you are fighting with the label to try and get it on the back of this, so if it's not already on here, pick up your sheet bend it over pull it adhesive and all off okay this isn't the normal way you would do this all right so you can bend it to kind of get that crack going and let's we're going to go down more this way because that's wider okay so that's just the way we do all of our stamps remember so now we've stuck it on here now i'm going to take this adhesive off just like that now I'm going to come to my label. I want to bend it so I can have easy access when I'm ready to peel it off. Peel the entire label up, just like I've taught you in past videos. You can just eyeball it. Place it on there. Okay. Now I'm going to come back because I kind of broke that by bending that. It may lift in some areas because remember it's not near as sturdy. But there's something holding it in place, that piece that I put on there, which is the correct direction already. Yes, it was an aha moment. Now, remember how we take this and we come right over the top and we get it all lined up beautifully and press. And if you wanna add another one of the strips from here, on there, you can do that, but yeah, look at that. Yep, I hope that helps. Do you love it? Yes. Get those stamp sets converted over, whether they're your wood, and if that's your project, or if they're your old clear, and don't fight with those stamps falling off your blocks anymore. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you're notified every time I have a new video go up. If you live in the United States and you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. I've listed up in the eye and below in the description the cling adhesive sheets so you can grab those right now. 
and uh, get busy converting all those stamps. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. As always, I've listed two more videos at the end of this one that I think you may enjoy. Happy crafting.